There we go. Audio gaff. No idea why the microphone wouldn't turn on. So I had it plugged in and charging on. There. Well, are you on now? Oh, okay. Apparently, the battery just died. It didn't get plugged in properly overnight. So, um, I mean, just a second. I'm going to actually move it to a battery if I can. Yay! Was that so difficult? Apparently it was. I had to find a safe spot for it temporarily. Figure out what's going on with the microphone. Boom! Excuse me. No, well, well, I'm back. Been back for a while, but I'm already working on some of these things throughout the day. And uh, everything is set and ready for sanding from the Polyflex from yesterday. That stuff is really best to set it up overnight. Uh, started sanding all the filling that was done on thermal earlier. That was all just done with 60 grit. And really just mostly pulling any Bondo off that's not in that scene. That's all I really care about. Other fun tools. Do some wood sculpting tools or 3D print cleanup tools. And you can get some of the chunks out without having to actually get in there and sand it. Kind of get in there and scrape it away because there's no reason for that Bondo to even be stuck to those areas. Other little pro tip, you always want to sand areas you want it to stick, but pay careful attention to surrounding areas and don't sand them. That'll make it a lot easier to get any type of body filler off. That's just experience. There's some mixed up in the paint container, 3M paint container. It should be right there on the right. Nope. That's custom mix. Why? Does something need to be resprayed? I was just thinking about some pleasure for it. Um, the, the big marker is kind of messy. Bleeding? Well, no, it's not bleeding. It's just, it's just messy. I'm sure it's fine because it's weathered, but in my head, it needs to be pristine. To an extent, I mean... It's just got, there's like black marks and some darker spots where I wiped it out, so it's made of gray pieces of it, you know, just made it look... I'll bring it over, let me look at it, and I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll so far, the Sharpie marker brush that goes, that's in the Sharpie, yeah. works really well, but it, 
has a bluish hue to it. So, okay. Well, let it dry and then coat, a, coat over it. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is if, we find, if I can find some Sharpie brushes that are acrylic. Okay. So water base is a no? No. You want to grill it? Base is no. Alcohol no no? Here, I'll show you. Yeah. Left here talking to you, so just you know, that's how long it took me to get the black on here. Just using a brush. You're worried about this? Yeah, that's fine. That doesn't need to be touched up. That's that's as natural, like, yeah, you need to like turn around to say hi. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> say hi, yeah, Mark's here. Hey, yeah, well, we're. Yeah, you know, since he's here on Wednesdays. Um, you didn't see me smoking it. What's what's this other layer? That is one is one of the, one is the marker paint and oh. one is the the sharpie over it. Okay, so I want the sharpie the, the sharpie uh, brush paint markers because they I mean I, that took me a third of the time. See see that see that little bit of reddish. Blue shoe. Yeah, that is. Hey, what, what marker did that call? That's the sharpie. And that's supposed to be black? Yeah, well, it's supposed to be black on paper. Right. So it has to be opaque. If you can find the opaque markers, that'll work out just fine. Yeah. I mean, the, um, I've seen some, some builds where they use these, and then I've heard them complain about it. So. Yeah, I'm it. yeah, okay, so the funky colors. Right, but I also thought if I hit that with a matte coat real quick, it would, it would solve it out a little bit and seal it. And this below it is the alcohol? No, this below the flat one is the, the, the paint marker. The big fatty. Okay. Fatty. But the big fatty won't go along the edges because there's a there's a two millimeter two millimeter uh, plastic surrounding. Uh, yeah. But and you get some of the fatty in here? Yeah. yeah you and get, get well what I was thinking is, is I hit that with a clear coat of like matte. Right. Just a quick just a this uh, is kind of hidden up here. Yeah, that's hidden. Not that's why I put the about I put that. the shield on there to see if it was gonna right. hide that. But, uh, I mean, if I put a, a, a thin matte coat over it and then Sharpie on top of that, it should be should be black. Fill the mounds, it really does the purpose of going ahead and go past it. That's it. That way we can cover between the lines. worry so much about it. Well, that's just for this one because I was learning yeah, what I mean, it would that, do. That's, that's, but it didn't take me. It it didn't I mean, take no matter what, they're all going to look the same once we're done with them. Then. Yeah. Or, or they get yeah, I, I'll hit this other one a little bit more. You're, you're so, still learning and playing. Right? Are you saying you want me to mix the pick brush and tape it all off? Or are you? Don't you tape it all off. You use whatever Cause, cause brush this right this here. Because this right here was the Sharpie brush, and it was one swipe. So you done. need to run to Hobby Lobby and see what they have real quick. Um. Well, you said they don't have anything, so no, I'd have to Michael's go to on by you. Didn't Right, so the Michaels, I would have to go to my Michaels, and I'll buy all the shit we need. Well, then you're just saving it for Sunday, which doesn't make me any difference. All right, in that case, get what you need from Michaels some pace. Now that you know, fix yeah. that the best you can. Yeah. Get those two first orders this. going for me, though. All right, I'll, uh, I'll do those now. Though. Yeah, but tape them off, even if we need to spray them instead of mark them right can now. You, can, you, can you screenshot first order, Ippo? I, not really. I mean... It's, so is it just on CRL? Yeah, just go to the CRL, look where it's black, and, you know, Google image search, first order Stormtrooper, and boom, there's all the pictures you need. Oh, um, make it hell, man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, you get to work in the isolation booth. Yeah, well, that's not I work in the isolation shed. You work in the isolation, Mike. That, too. Yep, and this is for later for some. Huh? Did you ever consider asking your vinyl people to cut these pieces? Logan already played with it, and that helmet is one I pulled vinyl off of. That, yeah, that, that works. That works. Yeah, the little side one was fine. Because we can lay um, that vinyl on that on 
these outside pieces and just paint that part. Lay vinyl here, lay vinyl in these little spots and just paint this piece and that'll, that'll fucking... It, it will. You're going to take vinyl and or some vinyl. I mean, vinyl's good for some spots, but... Well, just these outside pieces? Like, that's super clean. Yeah, that's why I left those on. The ones across the brow, they just weren't quite right unless we cut a longer strip and exacto it off. But even then, the way the way paint looks is better. You know, for that little side detail, that's the only thing that I really see. and the back two, um, those two blacks, those would be optimal being vinyl. Yeah. But the rest of it needs to be painted just because it looks better. It'll hold the wash better too than dirtying. Oh, see, there's always 15,000 things happening. Just trying to get it all done one way, shape, or form. Man, doing another mic check. Can the mic even hear me? I'm hoping it can. Let's try to rearrange this. Get it closer to anywhere I might be working. I'll figure out what the charging issue was with it. I guess I need to go ahead and just let the rest of the world know because we don't have enough subscribers. And look at the camera though. <laughs> oh, I have the worst smiles. Oh goodness, all the notifications. Goodness gracious, it's quite enough of that. Okay, we 
got to get to the sharing part. Let's see what our link is.
Okay, for viewer watching that right now, very much sorry. I had to post links and, and do things. Um, get some viewers. If anyone's actually going to come in and you see this part of the video, we have been discussing uh, doing a giveaway campaign because hiring on somebody in addition to help us out in here full time would really help speed things up. But it's just something that we really can't afford to do right now, given the current state. But that could also help somebody else really beneficially, too. So we're looking at going to start doing some giveaway campaigns. Let's reach some milestones and um, we're discussing it. We should have some more details here later today or tomorrow. Pretty satisfied with this for now. It should be classified as pink ready, give or take. Um, good to go. And these are parts that we check. Uh, you're watching, thanks to Dan Pham. Um, for two mouse droids, we ordered. Appreciate that. Let me go post this up on our clipboard. And let's see what Amazon is bringing us right now. Oh, oh, hey, a COVID face mask. And what is this? Oh, the essential business supplies. Oh, yay! Face shield, yay! Grinding helmet shield, yay! Yay! So more things for finishing up these shore trooper helmets. Yay! And these things have gotten expensive during the pandemic. Uh, and where we left off yesterday was well, these could be sanded down. You know, probably won't torture y'all right now with a whole bunch of sanding. We'll do some fillings and whatnot. Yeah. Um, yeah, we left off yesterday with... Having done an ABS slurry over the biceps... So, and I painted in a little bit on the inside because there was a void here. There's a little bit much of a glob right in that area, so it caved in, so it'll be getting a touch of filling too. No big deal, but I really like the structural support and strength that this game from brushing it in. Just be careful with how much goes on. Uh, so, yeah, it is time to boil you with huh, a bit more sanding. <laughs>
Okay, and I'm hoping y'all can see that, but that looks really good. Just a couple little pits that will hit flex, and that is just a beautiful 100% seamless part. I'll send down the other one here, and a uh, little bit of polyflex. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'll need to sand the forearms before we do that, but we're going to get into the um, resin detail parts and start doing all them in place. Uh, just blocking everything going on. These are all the parts that really don't require assembly, chest, belt, or assembly before paint. So chest, belt, shoulder belts, uh, cod piece, posterior. Uh, we do the belt and the cod piece and the posterior all as one removable piece that goes around the bottom of this. So it works out really well. All right, one more to sand. Go ahead and smooth sand this. As y'all can see, I'm not scared in the least to sand the finish of the plastic because we really believe every suit should be painted one way, shape, or the other. I mean, they just need paint. Period. End of story. you got to have paint to match helmets. That's how it's been since about 2003 with clones. So get used to painting. out a chair and have a talk but you got to be closer to the microphone if you're going to talk and be on camera so mark what do you do for a living and what have you done basically i'm just a screaming pile of meat yeah we all know that feeling i register as a meat popsicle popsicle yep that's what life, the universe, and everything feels like right about now as we hit the doldrums of everywhere that we are. That good, huh? Oh, that's same as always. That bad, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm still Star waiting. Wars quote for the day. My uh, home lobotomy kit from uh, Amazon is still on <laughs> back order. Apparently, a lot of people want one. Well, you know what? Maybe we should take some special time because isn't this World Mental Health Week? I thought every day was World Mental Health Week. <sighs> 
every day should be World Mental Health Day. It really is. You know, always be sure to take care of you and your mental health. Happiness is only a prescription away. That's a Accurate. lie. <laughs> not a, it's not a lie. I'm happy. No. Unfortunately, it's a lie. I get to take my morning meds, too. So is the cake. It's just... It shouldn't be that way. You know, it shouldn't... It just shouldn't. It shouldn't be that way that we have to take meds of any sort. Ah. You know, sometimes we're... Uh, sometimes, we're put to, sometimes we're put together a little different. And because we're a little different, uh, we extra stuff. Well... It's not, it's, not a, it's not a crime. It's not a bad thing. It's just... And, and a lot all, of people are too prideful to go out and look. Yeah, but in all seriousness, there. though, I mean, when I ask you what you are, what you did, I mean, yeah, we're meat popsicles just making it through the grinder. But, you know, you're you're an artist. You're an illustrator. You're a tattoo artist. You're a painter. An airbrusher. What else? What else we got? Musician, singer. Musician. Writer. Right. You know, pretty much all the stuff. Uh, I do this stuff because it makes me feel good. Well, you're doing this on the side because it makes you feel good. Yeah, the, uh, but, the, the building helps me. You know, what one of the converses is, is I, I never proclaim myself as an artist. I refused it. But up until recently, I've had to admit to being an artist and understanding... Or you make it sound like it's some kind of disease. I, it feels like that. It, it, is. it is. I mean, you're like, please buy my art. I'm begging you. Please buy the art that I make. That, I mean, that's that's what every artist does. People ask me, what do I do? And I say, uh, they're like, you're a musician? And I'll say, I make noise with my face, and sometimes people like it. And that's the way I feel about my art. I do artwork, and sometimes people like it, and they want to buy it. Otherwise, I just draw the stuff, and if somebody, if it speaks to you, it speaks to you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Um, well, I've always enjoyed your art. It, it's right I up hate there. My own art. Well, I, everyone hates their own art. Well, your artwork's right oh, there. That's a logo. That's. It doesn't matter. It's your artwork. Yeah. There's your artwork. Uh, okay, I'll take okay. that one. There's your artwork. You know, art is there's subjective. your artwork. It's subjective and it's devalued. But there's your artwork. Oh, oh just the black one. Yeah. At least it's on the back of my arm. I don't like to look at the first order stuff too much. You know, um, I always heard about 501, and I always heard about all these little cosplay troops and groups, and I was always too fat to cosplay and too too fat to, to do it. Nobody wants to see another fucking Rancor, uh, Rancor trainer, you know, just big fat dude crying with no shirt. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to be that guy. I, there's enough of those guys out there. Hey, plenty to you, word, you know. That's great. Not my thing. Um, well, at least if you're a Gamorrean guard, you yeah, wouldn't have to have the body suit. Can you imagine a Mando helmet for a Gamorrean guard? No thanks. Well, we've seen X-Wing pilot Gamorrean guards, and their helmets are rather odd. I think their ears stick out of them. So yeah, as far as if they uh, actually hit the eject button in space, them surviving, I seriously doubt it. So, I, But then I, again, we had Mary frickin' Poppins in The Last Jedi. Don't, don't, no, I'm doing it again. Well, I, uh, I'm, I'm sequel ranting. I can't sequel don't, rant. Don't, don't I start. can't sequel rant. Don't start. No, don't start. I got a dead one. Your mental health is important. It's uh, one of the most important things. And right now, during all this bullshit, you uh, you really have to keep in mind that you're kind of in charge, and you can either sit down and do nothing, or try making things and doing things. And even if you fail. Uh, as long as you don't quit, you're not actually failing. Maybe so, that's why the art supplies were in such short supply. Yeah, as soon as they said you're going to be locked down, everybody's you know, like, oh, shit, like, I need to go get some more yarn. Yeah, you let's, know? let's do something. Let's make crafts, and i got to keep these kids busy because they can't go to school. Right. You know, I'm, the best thing that happened about this whole COVID thing is, is uh, you know, the yards look amazing. Kevin's peeking in over here with our whopping one viewer. Don't know what's going on, but you know we need to push it that out one there. That's probably us watching ourselves. No, I doubt it. We usually have uh, <laughs> one concurrent viewer that I'm familiar with. Usually Wolfgang is in from Germany. Oh, I think yeah. he's from Ger Germany. He always tries to catch the live ones. Good and Yeah, they're not bad. Yeah, they're not bad. They don't yeah. suck. 
that, that was the one masked and painted. Now we're playing with paint pens. You know, just trying to speed up the process. Lisa has the new master inside. She's been doing a little work on it. I got some Bondo work to fill in on it, so she can continue doing other work on it. So that can get to molding soon. Now, yeah, I'm coming down. I, 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 I hate doing this, but sorry about your grandfather. Oh, man, yeah. 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 Look good, though. My uh, grandmother's neck. Yeah, you, I thought she was in previously, though. She's in a nursing home, my grandfather. And yeah, because we know the track the record of the nursing family. homes in Pensacola right now. And uh, so they were living together, and they uh, got tested, and they went in three, three days. Like three days after the test? After the test. Did he just develop? Deteriorated. Yeah. It was just downhill. Well, we're sorry to hear that. I mean, I'm assuming his immune system is already down a bit. Hmm. So, cosplay. Don't be afraid. Just do it. Make some no, shit. you got to do what makes you happy. Seriously. it's. I, I saw a comment um, on, on one of our feeds asking if there was a CRL for Captain Cardinal for 500 first. Why does that matter if you want to do a costume and wear it to a convention? Why do you have to have it accepted into the organization? You, you, there's, can, you can troop well, at least anywhere. You, have to go side by side. you can troop anytime you want um, to get into the, you know, the cool guys club. Yeah, that's nice. It's a find it's your a, local community. Now. It's, it's nice having a worldwide organization, but find your local community. You it's know, a, that's what we are kind of as a home base. You know, we're making our stuff. We're going to do the stuff as close as we can to the CRLs, mostly because of quality control. Well, and the sheer fact that I know people are going to complain about it. And in order for us to keep being able to do any of this stuff, people have to buy our stuff. So it has to be sure to pass those kind of regulations. Right. But I've never had an issue with any of our sets passing regulations. It's all in how you build it, really. You know, we have a Sunday where we get people to come over and kind of learn how to do stuff and you know we'll teach you how to do a few things and you know sand a couple of buckets or something and, and learn a, learn something and then you can start building your own yeah learn, learn about how to make it how it's made i've been here doing this off and on since roughly 96 97. same building same everything the key is is have fun the big thing about joining these big groups, they're really cool, and you have lots of camaraderie if you're lucky. And there's a lot of politics. There's a lot of you put a lot of people in a little small fishbowl. Yeah, they're going to start eating each other. So you got to keep that in mind. You can't be sensitive. You know, you just put the bucket on, go troop, have a good time. That's all you really need to do. And if you get to, to hang out with the big boys, great. If you don't, that's cool. There's little people that don't need to hang out with big boys, and they'll go well, hang out with you too. We've discussed a philosophy that we really think. You know the costuming clubs should adopt. Let's say you have a eighty percent accurate costume and you want to join the club. Well, why not have a provisional membership and be like, "Great, here's your number." You know, we see a few little things going on, but let's get you in contact with your community and let's get you like a hundred percent. You know, and make it kind of like a probationary period. Well, yeah, you can do events, but here's some guys to help you. We had a new guy show up for a Mardi Gras parade and in a stormtrooper, and his belt was mounted way too high. He cut his shoulder belts down really short. He had the wrong shoes, but he was approved, and he got to do stuff with us. And, you know, as soon as we first met him, it was like, yeah, we see a few little issues, but, hey, you look great. We'll get you fixed up. That's that was it. It's no big deal. 90% of the time, I think they just wait to uh, to see if you're for real. Because, you know, ever since The Mandalorian came out, everybody wants to be a Mando now. And all of a sudden, there's this, like, the, the costuming, the MMCC. Those guys got just floods of new people. Hi, new people. I'm going to I'm gonna build my stuff. You know, and then that's all you hear. Um, so, yeah, it's, I understand where they're not going to give you a whole lot of attention in the beginning okay. until they see you put the work down. Put the work down, and, and chances are you'll get a little bit more of attention. 
because they want to see you trying. If they don't see you doing anything, you get a cardboard cutout Mando helmet, yeah, they're, they're probably not going to take a whole lot of time out on you. Yeah. But when you come in with an open mind and say, I want my stuff to be awesome, you have to give them the opportunity to tell you why it need how it needs to be awesome and what they can do and what, you know, as long as, as long as they give you the, here's what's wrong and here's how to fix it. And I will help you. Then 90% of the time you can get that taken care of. It's I just, uh, really just, you're out here building. I'm you out here building stuff to have fun. Huh? You know, I do nothing my mental else. health depends on me being Other than the one active crazy, with right? something with my hands. I'm creating something. I'm burnt. I'm burnt out on a lot of different art things. So I'm doing the cosplay thing and I'm finding out that I'm not bad at it. I don't, I mean, I haven't done a cosplay yet, but I'm helping him get together so that I have time to do what I want to do too. And he can make his stuff. And me and my little groupies can, you know, put a little tent, little time in on our things. But overall, man, you don't necessarily have to have a butt ton of money to, to make this happen. You can make a lot of stuff. They've got all the patterns to make from basic stuff. I've seen people make Mando helmets out of buckets. I've seen them make it out of uh, uh, those big barrels, you know, heat gun, a heat gun and a, and a, and a you know, and a, and, a, and a saw, you know, and uh, heat gun and sanding. Heat gun sanding and hunt and a saw. You you can do this stuff, man. It's it's not an, it's not so elitist that you can't do it. Ninety percent of the time, people think they can't do it because they've never done it and they suck the first time they do it. But just like anything, you've got to you've got to hammer at that craft and keep going and keep pushing, keep improving, and keep trying. If you shoot for the moon and you get halfway, that's still higher than you ever did when you were on the couch. So it's it's really important that. Especially right now when everybody's looking for something to do to keep themselves busy and their brains from frying over from all the stupidity going on. You know, I find that this is very cathartic. You know, you come in, you focus on some stuff, you sand it, you work on it, you work it, you, you feel it to see how smooth it is. And you, you push yourself to say, it's not yet, it's not done, it's not good enough until it is as perfect as I can make it. And that's, that's probably where I feel like all the CRLs and everything, they, they are being represented by Lucasfilm, so yeah, but, they have to have well, all this shit, right? Well, actually, I, can, I was there at the birth of the CRLs. I was attachment leader for CloneTroopers.net the, the, whenever the CRLs started. The thing a lot of people don't understand about why we have a CRL is because at the time, Ruby <laughs> had just released the Supreme Vader and their Deluxe TK. And out of the package, we were getting a lot of applications for membership when the suits were kind of not really up to snuff. Yeah, they were off. I mean, they were they were off. But the Vader could actually be approved if you just added a few things to it. You know, it was actually a really good basic Vader starter kit right there. Ruby helmets aren't bad. It, depending on the helmet. You know, for years, people have been using the Ruby's uh, Dom Post Viper Scout helmets. They're still approved to this day with modifications. Cheap, readily available helmet. May not be the helmet we all want, but it's the helmet we're getting. So that's the primary reason why we have CRLs, was just to differentiate. Yeah, so what happened and what started, it started the nitpicking down to the millimeter, I hate pinning it on Pathfinders, the Biker Scout group, but they're the ones that I think first came out basically with the Lancer status. You know, here, here you have to use a ruler and take a measurement of the elastic that you use because it has to be metric elastic. In a photo, and the kid in the hospital you're taking pictures with, or guys at the convention really don't care if you're using metric elastic or not. That's why it's an optional thing. But some things have been made like beyond standards of what anybody at home can really do, and that's where I think. Do you think that's you've got to draw uh, the line? Do you think that's to weed out the? Uh, I wonder if uh, some people just like to stay relevant, and they keep themselves relevant by uh, themselves relevant by uh, by making it really hard for new people. I don't, I, I don't think so. I don't. I mean, that almost sounds like conspiracy at that point. Uh, you know, that, that, that would take too many people. Like that, but so yes, I, there are. There is a division of people that are like supporting what we're saying, but there's also the division of people that go and know everything has to be 100% perfect. Yeah. Everything has to be 100% like the movie. 
but we can contradict that in so many different places in so many different ways. I've been in a couple of groups, and, uh, you know, sometimes the group is all they got. And it seems like, uh, you know, they make it hard for the new people because the new people start, you know, young, start showing up, doing more. They stop being relevant. They get a little, a little iffy, so they try to make it so that they stay on top of it. Well, but at the same time, that's me and my bitterness from my previous experiences which is why I'm not really concerned about jumping up on, on somebody's bandwagon. I'm doing this as a personal goal uh, because I always told myself I couldn't do it because I was too fat. So I lost 130 pounds, and uh, I'm going to got about 80 more pounds to go. Well, actually more like 90 now, but got about 80 more pounds to go, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my thing. And uh, I'm not going to worry about what other people think. It's just going to be, I'm going to put the work in, I'm going to make the stuff, and it's going to be cool, and I'm going to have fun. And that's really all that matters. If it stops having fun, uh, you know, don't do it. Yeah. Conventions, I mean, really. You don't have to have a membership to wear a costume to a convention. If, you sh if, if it looks good, people are going to walk up to you take pictures with you regardless of what they know. If it looks bad, they're going to walk up to you and take pictures yeah. of you regardless. You know, they take pictures, and you got an Iron Man made out of paper bags and he still gets pictures you know so don't worry about it have fun and uh for those of you with social anxiety yeah it'll get that's, more attention on you but you're wearing a helmet that's why i wear a helmet i've got very bad social anxiety disorder trust me i don't love being in front of the camera right here like this you no know, exposing myself to the world like this i'm a very private type of person i, I will say the wrong thing at the wrong time out of awkwardness. Yeah. You're going to do it, do it. All you have to do is decide. Just decide to do it and do it. And don't let anybody get in your way. I wouldn't do that. All right, good for you. I wouldn't draw that. I don't care. That doesn't look cool. Sorry you don't like it. Because remember, there are always furries out there. <laughs> <laughs> Which has probably become more of a socially accepted group than some of the armored yeah, I, I costuming clubs. I won't clubs say now. nothing about the furries, man. I don't know any personally, but you know, hey, you do you, boo boo. Uh, it's fine. If Whatever you're having makes you fun happy, with it, have fun with just it. Just don't be a dick and don't hurt nobody. You won't be on my radar. It's it's it's, it's fun, man. It's work. It's work. Don't get wrong. You know, it's work. Trial and error. Go into the forums and find the, the different stuff and, and, and see what people have already done. Half the time, you can get the answers you want out of YouTube and out of the forums for anything. There's so much on YouTube now. There's so much information so out there. So many tutorials. All you youngins are like, I can't armor. do it. And like, remember back in the day when there was no internet and all I could do is walk to a fucking uh, library to find a picture of something and maybe they'll have it? Yeah. I, I started doing this when we were doing it on um, Yahoo Groups. And even before then, internet at the dawn and infancy, wookiecantina.com. Yeah, this is a, this is a, this is a, this is a project of passion. This guy's working by himself. I come up here two days a week when I can, and uh, I got full time other things doing, and I can't come up here every day. But when I do come up here, I try to help him out with whatever he needs because I want to. It's not because. You know, I want anything. It's just, I, you know, I know what he's going through. This has been backed up, and he's been working his ass off. And uh, Well, I'm glad I got a lot of things done we, during the yeah. period of the paint booth being built. And yeah, there were a lot of mission-critical yeah, things that got done. We're moving now, and that's yeah. good. Now we can move. I can move in a true circle now instead of keep hitting this roadblock over here. Because, like, the shop's kind of set up like a circle. Yep. You know, and that's, it, it starts over there with, like, armor being made and gets cut out and moves into sanding and building and helmets get made and then go over there for dirty finishing and then they come back around for final finishings and then it all comes back around to the paint booth and then back here. Actually, I guess there's a figure eight kind of thing, more than a, a circle, so. So I wonder, should you put a shout-out for, like, uh, creators and models?
So if they're interested in getting their stuff featured, uh, I have no problem. But I mean, with the way I'm backed up, the main reason I'm doing YouTube live stuff regularly again is so we can try to provide some kind of tutorial even if you just put our videos on mute look at the work being done on the table because i'm trying to keep it in camera view and uh just copy what i'm doing even if you're not listening because what we're doing really isn't hard you see the basic tools that i have and if you're going to be in the hobby well you're going to have a garage workshop and station for you anyway you can do it <laughs> Is that your first order? Okay. Well. This is not a bad, bad alternative looking in your house waiting for the world to stop turning. It's not bad at all. Give yourself a goal. No. Get you a go go on Etsy, print you, get someone to print you a gun and finish the gun. Start small. Oh yeah. Start small. Get a blaster. But Start even e even when they're doing that, be prepared for a wait and a lead time because sure. it takes time. I ordered a I ordered a, a, a COVID mask that I had custom built, and uh, I'm waiting for that to come in, and I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it up and make it all Star Warsy, and that's gonna be my daily do. My daily thing that I wear, my EDC. So, yeah, my new daily came in. Oh yeah, just whatever. Hopefully, it won't fog up my let, glasses. Let that nerd flag fly, man. I'm trying. Well, that's why I got the white one, white and black trim, stormtrooper trim. That's all I can do right now until I can get the mud trooper thing molded, and then I can actually put charcoal filters in that. But that's that's a long way off. That's almost project status right now, and we're in get crap. Even out the door status right now. I can't wait till you're done with all this stuff and, and uh, you're, it's you're never going to end. Together. No, I no. Never, it never end, but it, it feels like it's hard. never going to end. Okay, it no. will. It will pass. It's like bad Taco Bell. Well, I don't even want to talk about that because we're going to hit TMI information really oh, no, fast. Oh no, Taco Bell, man! They killed all the good products. And they're like, oh, we're going to do good things. So anyway. <laughs> I'm going to get back to work. All righty. See you later. No, Logan, I think you have been Yeah, because I'm busy. I know he's doing his work, but if he can go get loose, that saves me an hour. Uh, one thirty. He's done at one thirty, and then we're gonna start back warming up. Yay! Huh? Yeah, it's Scambia. Camera back over, microphone back over me. Here in this stage, I'm getting ready to install all the little resin detail bits, the calf blocks for the right leg, the big clips for the thighs and the shins. I get the little clips right here. Um, Going to show you all how we, you know, sand the bottom side, sand the top. I've already pre-sanded everywhere that they're going to end up gluing onto. Oh, and here, and that's like, here's a major sticking point for me, because y'all can see all the sanding I've done in the assembly, basic assembly of the armor. And I, I can't tell you how sad it is that people will complain that there's a scratch on their kit. Whenever there's so much work that goes into it before they go into paint that a scratch is insignificant. Just stuff I've seen over the years. Oh, 
auto screws so we can get those set up. Didn't find them at Lowe's this morning. thing about these to remember is it's trapezoid forward for the placement across everything it doesn't reverse around like that Ooh. might be an issue yes we do get six of these I don't have my radio I don't know why she brought me four or did I have two more I only have one more oops yeah, we need six of them total, but I'll need four today. We ran completely out, and then I found three eighths of a bottle where it shouldn't have been, and then two more bottles came in.
same thing here on the shins. Yay, thank you, Cadet, for subscribing. Ow. Oh, there's two of um... them. Sand these down before you know, those clips. And this is the one I have to look up left and right. Oh, I'm trying to remember which. I have to look stuff up sometimes because I don't always remember. That's yeah, that's trap is always the inside for those. Yep. Trap is always go on the inside.
use that flexible bondo. No. Tune up my video what I did yesterday. I slurried them first. That's what these are. They're slurried and then you go over the flexible. Just take the acetone cup. Doesn't take much. And a paintbrush, chip brush. Get your back ready if you're going to do it. So that's all, all that stuff sitting right there. I'll go over anything you can with a slurry. Any of these seam lines, hit it with a slurry and sand it down. It fuses them together. Kevin's working on his personal first order TK. Go ahead and get the holster installed on the left thigh. I'm trying to remember if it goes behind or in front. Pretty positive it goes like badish. But that's why we keep the CRLs handy and we use it for picture reference. Let's see. There we go. In front of it, but kind of right on the line. No problem. I didn't think it went. Front. I'm going to take this to the belt sander and sand it down. It's a little thicker. taking the thigh holster. Sanding any residual print lines that were left on it. Now I'm just going to line it up and make my pencil marks so I know where to glue and sand. Definitely not a good live streaming day. Unless everybody else is off doing something. Everybody tuning in.
and there's your completed thigh armor. Leg strap, buckle, clip, resin clip. These two need to be sanded, and this one. Oh, it's another thing I can never remember. Which where did the calf blocks go? Right leg or left leg? And I'm not going to let my dyslexia. All right, left leg. All right, I have the correct leg out. Oops. All right. So now off to sanding these on down. Let's see if one of you are going to cooperate. <laughs> And in general, 180 is pretty smooth. Let's see if I had any 150s laying around. Nah. Keep working it with 180, even though I'd rather hit it with 150. You know what? Oh, well.
completely fused. So what we're doing with the polyplex at that point is just filling the dome. That's it. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do not discount ABS slurry. I actually want to get some of the um, clear water thin ABS cement and make slurry with it. It's mostly acetone, but it's got other polymers in it. on the shelf and restock it. The ones on the door are ones that are definitely mine because I've opened them. Should be some in the back. Huh? What? What? What'd you say here? Grab you. Grab mine. I guess 
you to grab. We do show it for these, but it's still up front. Today we're going to make the Troopa Armor. You will need ingredients of two parts putty, one part ABS. Or we just start making one of these smash videos where people just start doing something <laughs> and then smash them all together. And no, that's that's what we do when uh, people complain. <laughs> nah, nobody complains. Well, the only people, the only people that honestly complain, are ones that don't have patience and ones that can't see the forest through the trees from kit to finished product. If you really want to know about patience, look up Leonardo da Vinci and how long it took him and his commissions. Think about that. No, I'm not Leonardo da Vinci. Either. No, but art is, don't rush I'm, a miracle. I'm, I'm work pretty, cl I'm pretty close to, to drawing a perfect circle, but it'll never happen. Never rush a miracle worker, kid. You oh, get, no. You get lousy miracles. Oh, no. It's always more time I have. All right, so that's set in black that's in there. That's the, the color that goes on the TK. On the Stormtrooper? On the... Uh, yeah. Uh, go, uh, shall we go ahead and use this? But it's going to need auto primer on top of it. Right? What? Get, well, you're going to have to prime on top of it. Yes. If you got the Stormtrooper taped off. I got one of them taped off. Okay. Well, tape off the other one, but... Or, you have the boss. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, right now, yeah. I mean, it's yeah, what's going on. I mean, yeah, we need those painted, so... Well, I'm going to get them painted. Yeah. It's like working on them one at a time. Just pick that one up this morning, but you're going to have so, to hit it with the primer why? before you lay that on, because it will not stick if you don't hit it with primer. Well, that's poopy crisps. Okay. I don't believe in paint plus primer. That is garbage. Let me show you paint plus primer headache. These things. 15 different freaking coats of paint on them just to try to get gloss black. Didn't happen. How did it? What? What? Ooh. Yeah. I, I just gave up and decided to print a whole new set and paint it with that instead because that has been good paint. Okay. And these didn't get the hand guard. So I got to prime it and then up. paint it. Yes. The, the part that I just masked out. Yes. The black. Yes. Roger. Primer always goes down. Roger, Roger. But why? For all those viewing at home. Because your colors will not be the same and the paint has a chance of not sticking. Mm. Runs. Do you want runs? You hear that, kid? Yeah. Do you want runs? Because that's, that's how, how you, you get, get runs, runs is <laughs> if you don't use primer and if you coat too heavily. And remember, kitties... When you're painting, don't do this. And also remember, you want to you want to paint in and pendulum out. Yeah. Don't and stop. Start here and then yeah. stop here. Or you'll build up. Come in and pendulum out like this. This length. You don't need to be up here unless you're moving really really fast. So you don't want to move fast because you're not in a big ass hurry. So you come in here and you pendulum in and you pendulum out and you put light coats, not one big flat coat because you're gonna run. And no one likes running more than me. No, you love running. I love running. You love to run. I love to run so much, I never do it. Why? Hey. You can guess. Even built, even bodybuilders have heart attacks, okay? Hey, man. Why you got to make it dark? I'm not making it dark. I say dark. shit about no heart attack. Healthy, healthy people die from running and exercise. Too. Jim Fix. That's right. All right? You know, the famous jogging dude, to quote Dennis Leary here. What did he do? Drop down dead of a heart attack. When? This, this when he was jogging. This is depression. We're just talking about dying. I mean, I've got things I can say, but I, I really think need to be saved for an individual video. Paintbrush and... For... It's all right there. It's all right there. All right, there's a brush. Yep. And the acetone... And all you got to do is put in about two ounces of acetone at most. Just a splash. Just, just mix it in until it becomes a paste, but liquidy, but not. 
and do not leave globs on and pretty much once it's on you've only got right then to move it around that's it and yeah it's pretty much applesauce but a little thicker sometimes if it starts to dry out put a splash of acetone in and like literally you just need a splash at most like a shot glass full really goes a long way and then if you need more, well, pour more acetone in and reconstitute it all. And, yep, that's it. That's it. Just it. Is that autofocus working? There it is. Thank you.